Hi, Angela Wolf here, fashion designer and online instructor, and we are still sewing our trench coat. Today, we are sewing the collar and attaching it to the facing. So this is the front piece. This is what I call the facing, and this is the collar. I'll show you the steps here. All right, so on your pattern, you're gonna need your back. This is inside of your back. You'll have your two facing pieces, and then you'll have your base jacket. You have a collar, this is called your upper collar, and then your lower collar. The lower collar, by the way, is cut on the bias. It should be on your pattern instructions, but just so you know, it gives just a little bit better fit. And let's get sewing. First, I'm gonna sew the collar, and I'm going to attach it. I'm only gonna do part of the collar because you don't need to watch the whole process, but you'll get the idea. So let's go to the machine. The collar is really what can make your jacket look professional or not. So there's just a few little tricks here to make the collar look real professional. So first, I'm starting with the under collar, sewing the center back seam. Whatever your seam allowance is on that, use that for your pattern. And just stitch to the end. One reason you have it on the bias is it's underneath your collar and it'll help the fold wrap around. So I'm just gonna give this a quick pressing. All right, let's go back to the table here. And now we're gonna sew the entire collar together. Now there are many ways to sew a jacket pattern from a tailored collar, which is a little bit more elaborate than this. I'm just showing you a very easy way to get started. I'm lining up my under collar and my upper collar, and I'm actually gonna put the upper collar on the top while I sew. Because again, I want the under collar to be just about an eighth of an inch shorter. So if it's not cut just right, I can at least manipulate it while I'm sewing. So this is the part that will attach to your jacket. We're not gonna sew that section. I'll go up here, and I'll give you a few tricks for this. Again, I'm just gonna sew half of the collar. I'm using a fourth of an inch seam allowance. If your seam allowance for some reason is a lot wider, you might wanna trim it first, but you'll definitely be trimming it later. But a quarter of an inch is fine for this stitch to the end. Now notice, there's a pretty strong point on this compared to the jacket that I've showed you that has a strong point. But if you sew this into a, a very strong triangle, you're going to have, I don't know, pointers. <laughs> it's not gonna look real good. So when you get to the end, here's a little trick. All right, go like this. Do one stitch. You could use two if you want, if your fabric's really thick. So I'll just go ahead and use two. I'm doing two stitches on an angle and then back around this edge. All right, and just keep st stitching away. And then when you get to the other end, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you that your under collar is just a little bit longer sticking out, which mine is, which is perfect. That means it'll help it roll it to the back. And I'm just gonna grab my chalk, or I'll grab this marking pen to show you something. When you're stitching, if you give yourself a guideline like this, this will help you when you get to that point of where to stop. just about there, and then I'm going to lift it up and do just one or two stitches. You can use the hand wheel if you're afraid the machine's gonna go too much, and then stitch down the other end. The same marking system is what I use for top stitching, which is what we will, I will show you in a later episode. All right, so let's press. All right, I'm gonna grab a point press. This works great for the collar because the idea is you wanna press these seams open before you tuck them out. And we're also going to trim. So you can use a rotary cutter or your scissors, but let me just show you both. I'm angling the rotary cutter on the side because you want one of these seam edges to be a little shorter than the other. Okay, and let me just trim that off. And I'm gonna show you another way that I find to be the easiest, and that's with scissors. So I take my hand, now, by the way, in the corners, we're gonna trim that off. And look at how I have my scissors on an angle. If you trim like that, 
one side will be a little bit shorter than the other, and this will allow it that when we press it to the other side, it'll lay nice and flat. How far am I trimming? I'm leaving it about an eighth of an inch from the edge. All right, I'm just gonna do part of this. I don't need to do the whole thing. You're gonna do it to the whole thing though. And then if I bring my point in here and just finger press this open. All right, and then you'll go all the way around. I'm just gonna do half of the collar. Gonna get my fingers out of there without getting them too hot there. And if you press that open all the way around, what happens is that when you flip it to the right side, you'll have a much better looking collar. There's, I'm just using my thumb right now to push that through. Get this out of the way. So this is the under collar. This is the upper collar. Of course, I didn't sew this side, but I'm just gonna push it out of the way a little bit. All right, so now when I go press, I can press this and just push the upper collar towards the back. You don't want the under collar popping out. Another idea for you is the under collar could be made out of a contrasting fabric, similar to the pocket, similar to the inside. Give that a little pressing here. And if you sew this right, it won't pop out unless you lift your collar. So the upper collar is pushing to the back. See? Just barely. So when this is on, you will not see the under collar unless you lift your, unless you lift your collar up. All right, now what about the facing? So I'm gonna treat both of these pieces like the jacket and the facing. You would have your entire jacket here with your under collar facing up, and this is your garment side you're going to attach this around the collar. And you can do this in one step or two, but I like to add the collar first and then I'll add the facing. Let's go back to the sewing machine. So again, just to be clear because I'm only sewing part of the jacket, this would be my jacket part and this would be the collar. So I'm just going to attach this. And when I do this, I just move the collar. You can see my hand here moving this out of the way. So I will go and attach that to the entire, all the way around to the other front side. And then you'd have your facing piece here. And the next thing you'll do is just push the collar out of the way. Go ahead and stitch around and all the way to the bottom. I'm just gonna show you from this side so you can follow. What I usually like to do is follow my previous stitch line here. Then you know they're on top of each other. Stitch to the end. Again, if you have a sharp point, you can give it that little turn. So I'm at the end, I'm just gonna do one stitch, two stitch, whatever you feel comfortable with, with the width of your fabric or the thickness of your fabric, and then start stitching down. And I'm going to stitch all the way to the end of this. On both, both of your facings, you would do this too, but let's just see what this looks like so you can get an idea. So my collar is now attached to the jacket. There's my facing. And I will do the same pressing that I showed you on here and tuck this out. And in a later episode, I'm going to show you how to do the understitching and the top stitching. Ah.